Okay, first up we have Corn Got the Life, a uh, single. Tron Legacy, or I'm sorry, uh, Tron, first soundtrack. And everybody knows this one. And then we got uh, Lord of the Rings, picture disc. Death Clock. And this is the uh, Death Album 2. And then we have Death Clock, Death Album 3. Waffles is going by. Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack on vinyl. Um, this is the Mondo uh, print cover thing. <coughs> Polaris. Music from the Adventures of Pete and Pete, uh, still sealed. <coughs> Waffles, get out. And then we have Mad Max, Mondo Edition, still sealed. Stone Sour, um, Audio Secrecy. Owl City, All Things Bright and Beautiful, really great album. Disturbed, indestructible. Sorry, the glare from the uh, my light. Weird Al, even worse. Um, his best album ever, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, Utada Hikaru, uh, Exodus 04. If you don't know who Utada Hikaru is, just look up Kingdom Hearts. Our Lady Peace, Burn Burn. I wish they would do a anniversary edition of Navid and Clumsy, because those were two of their best albums ever. This album was alright. It was alright. Then we got Coldplay, Parachutes. Marilyn Manson, Hollywood. I did have Antichrist Superstar and Mechanical Animals on uh, vinyl, but I had to sell them because I needed money because I was moving at the time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles soundtrack, part one. Spawn soundtrack, signed by Todd McFarlane. <laughs> Bioshock soundtrack. Uh, I Am Rapture, Rapture Is Me. System of a Down's first album on vinyl. <clears throat> Slipknot, The Grey Chapter, still sealed. Uh, Slipknot, what the hell was the name of this? Oh, Hope is All Gone. All Hope is Gone, I'm sorry, I can't believe I forgot that. Duh. Uh, Slipknot, Volume 3, both picture discs. Another Slipknot, Volume 3. Slipknot, Iowa. And then Slipknot, self-titled, green edition vinyl. And then uh, Bootleg, Slipknot, Mate, Feed, Kill, Repeat. <clears throat> then we have Korn's first album on vinyl record, finally. A Perfect Circle, 13th Step. I love this cover, the simplicity of it. It's just a beautiful cover. Yes, Waffles agrees, too. Uh, then we have Halo, original soundtrack, Anniversary. Then we have The Dark Crystal, with the poster included. Then we have Halo 5, Guardians soundtrack. A big step up from um, uh, Halo 4, in my opinion. Halo 4 soundtrack was good, but uh, this one was a lot better. And then this is just a recent edition. I got Baby Metal. Um, I love this band. This band is fucking awesome. <clears throat> so let me put these away and I'll show you the rest of my stuff. Okay guys, we're back. Uh next we have Rhapsody of Fire. Uh The Cold Embraces of Fear. Love Rhapsody of Fire. I was lucky enough to get this next one on vinyl for cheap price. Rhapsody of Fire. Um Symphony of Enchanted Lands 2, The Dark Secret. What's great about this, if you haven't heard it. Christopher Lee plays a major voiceover role in it, 
and I think he sings in it. I, he does narration, I know that. Uh, I'm not sure if he sings in it, though. Um, but freaking awesome, awesome album. One of my favorite 80s, 80s band uh, albums. Next up, Jurassic Park. Um, the 20th anniversary edition, still sealed. This was limited to, I think, a thousand prints. I'm not sure. Uh, still sealed, though, so I'm happy. Next up, we have Willow. Uh, music by James Horner, rest in peace. Awesome, awesome uh, uh, soundtrack. And what I really hate about, I don't know why companies do this, but they feel the need to puncture holes into this. I think it ruins the, the, the quality of uh, the jacket. You know, when they hole punch stuff. It's like, seriously, dude? You're making a sale. It's on the fucking um, barcode you're making a sale. Jesus Christ. Next, Godzilla, the motion picture soundtrack. Um, really, really loved uh, the soundtrack. Really cool. Movie was good, too. Next up, the original Transformers, the movie soundtrack. I met Stan Bush, I got his autograph, um, and I met Vince DiCola also, I got his autograph at BotCon 09. Um, it's on my Transformers DVD. <clears throat> Next up, we have Green Day's first album, or, yeah, it is the first album. 39, uh, through Smooth Out, uh, Happy Hours. Next we have Green Day, Kerplunk. Really great album. Next, we have their epitome of their entire career, in my opinion, Dookie. Next up, we have Green Day, Insomniac, a Hot Topic uh, exclusive uh, vinyl blue record. That's my cat's tail. And then we have the musical version of War of the Worlds. <laughs> Walking Dead, still sealed, original soundtrack on vinyl, on a blood red uh, colored vinyl. Next we have uh, some Johnny Cash. You can never go wrong with Johnny Cash. I want to get his last album that has a hurt on it, but it's a lot of money. Next up we have Cradle of Filth, uh, an amphetamine. Really, really good album. And then this is a test print of uh, the Exorcist soundtrack. Next we have Deftones, White Pony. Fantastic album. Then we have Sublime. And then we have Tron Legacy. These are really rare to come by, I found out. Marilyn Manson's Born Villain. And then last but not least, we have Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream. I've never actually heard this album. Um, I like the cover. I got it at Hot Topic. Um, but I would like to hear it. Um, but yeah, that's my, uh, vinyl collection. I have, uh, I have my Halo 4 box set somewhere, I know that. I gotta find it, because I couldn't fit it in here. Um, but that's just a picture disc of, uh, some remixes and stuff. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think of, uh, my vinyl collection. Rate, comment, subscribe below. And hopefully uh, you guys of the vinyl community uh, like it and enjoy it. All right, take care. Bye-bye.